Broly. I'm supposed to be getting work done, mate. Broly. Oi. Right. This is... There we go. Let's get a torch in there now. Oh, look. There's definitely a gap there, but now I'm not sure if the gasket is actually missing. I think I can see it inside. Now I've got some of the engine off, you can see that. But what I do think is, if we come under this side, it's definitely, it's definitely splayed out there on the right. So I'm just not sure it's positioned right to give us the correct seal. You're gonna have to excuse the noise. Our neighbors are having a party. Music's pretty cool though. The thing is with the gold wing is it just keeps on giving. You know, you get it all stripped down. I thought, get the header, just undo the exhaust bolts, but no, you've got to completely remove the fucking exhaust. Um, so yeah. I guess that's the next job. Completely remove the exhaust. Ah, I still love ya. It turns out I was right, eh? So, as you can see from there, this is how the... Oh, this is how it come off. And you can see the mark pressed into the side here. So, um, if we take that... fixed now there's one issue out of the way we still have one other issue yesterday when I was taking this off the bolt snapped in here but luckily if I can find it it was pretty loose so would you believe I managed to just turn it out, you know, by itself. So I have a broken bolt there in the oil there that I need to replace before this can go back together. I'm not sure, some kind of watery thing there, but we're really into the bike now. This is pretty cool. Right, it's kind of like looking through my dog's ears. I can see out the other side. <laughs> this is the one on the other side. Exactly the same. Take it out. Flip it over. Hopefully we'll be okay now.
quite a productive day. Gaskets are on, heads are back on, everything's getting there. I think I've put the timing belts and everything on right. Followed the instructions. It's all tense. So I've got to find the torque settings for the carb manifold and the coolant hose at the back. I've got to find the torque settings for those. And these two, even though they're on there, um, that's got to be filled up with new oil. Um, I did manage to break another bolt. I actually broke one of those two. I can't remember what it was, but I broke it. Um, I thought I'd kept it. Mm, there's the important bit. Managed to get it out first time. Pretty lucky. I'll put the video of that up there now. How lucky am I? But I'm keeping that as a reminder. I've had two bolts break on this so far. And I've managed to get both of them out. So yeah, pretty much the same side on this side. Like I say, need them torque specs. So hopefully I can get all that back together, pick up some oil and get it, get the rest of it back together tomorrow. All right, we've got some cases back on. Everything's kind of back together. Let's put some oil in it, make sure it doesn't leak and then we'll put some coolant in it. Maybe we'll get it started up. Ooh. Oil and coolant there. Right, so it's all back together. Um, I'm going to show you. I've kind of reconstructed, because being an idiot, I didn't turn the camera on. Um, I've reconstructed the fault I found when I put it back together, and I'll show you now what the issue was. So when I got the whole bike together. This is what it sounds like. It does eventually start. It doesn't sound great. Um, I put a video on my socials. Insert here. So, a couple of people were like, oh, carbs, so, that sounds lumpy and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, yeah. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to take the carbs off. It was actually Dutch shed built. He turned around and said, mm, carbs. And I was like, yeah, yeah, carbs, which he didn't want to do. So anyway, I got it running. It sounded like, it sounded crap. So I thought, you know, I, I never checked there was spark. I never checked there was spark on, on all four cylinders. I just assumed there was. So um, I took all the spark plugs out, checked them, went all the way through. Only two cylinders. It's only firing on two cylinders. So um, I had a little investigate and I'll show you what I found. Spin you around. So, and this is exactly where I found it down here. Lift it up there. I wonder if you can see that. I don't know if you can, but basically, one of the spark leads was out of the pack. Just like that. There's no screwy fitting on it. So I removed all the air filter and I found that, so I was quite happy. So I plugged that back in there like that. Back in, still need the screwy bit. And I checked and I had um, I had spark on, on all the coils. Lovely. So what does it sound like? <laughs> I 
turn the fuel on, Danny. <laughs> Dick. There we go. Bit of smoke. A lot of smoke. A lot of sap. This motherfucker. You are not coming. Look at that. He's a big old shit, isn't he? Go on, back in the arm. Right, now the smoke's cleared. Uh, yeah, so, engine runs a lot better when it's running on all four cylinders. Good tip, good tip. Um, so, I thought, that was going to be it, and then I found this. Coolant licking on the engine from the coolant pipe over there. Which means I've got to drain all the coolant system again. Um, and there's some rubber seals that go in there, which had I known, I would have done them while I had the engine apart. But that's a whole fucking other thing. But the bike is running, it is running. We have a no oil situation underneath, look at that. Beautiful, it's the same both sides, no, no oil. So, obviously it was just the gaskets. Um, yeah, I ended up taking the petrol tank off to, or the false tank to get under there. Um, yeah, it is kind of what it is. And I don't know if I showed you this before, I've got to show you this, this is fucking bad. if I don't fall over. So, uh, I managed to get a 3D printed um, stereo surround to, to do away with that nasty silver handmade piece of crap. I'm gonna put that on there, and um, I'm thinking I've got some little gold wing badges, I might put them on either side and put a new stereo in there. Something cool. I don't know why I'm getting carried away with this, but there you go. So, yeah, so I think I'm probably gonna leave this about here. One thing I do want to do though is um, just recently. A lot of my buddies have been kind of sharing my videos, sharing my channel, blah, 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 blah. loads of new subscribers. So I'm going to share a bit back. So firstly, Dirty Wizard Customs. He's mad. He swears a lot. I fucking love him. He's a great guy. Go sort him out. Go follow. Um, who else are we going to? Who else? Dutch Shed Builds. Another good guy. I don't have a sticker for him. Why haven't I got any Dutch Shed stickers? Who else? Who else? Fuck knows. Ah, oh, I tell you what, let's, let's start with like, um, Boyd's, Boyd's of Bedford. Go buy some Boyd's of Bedford stuff, t-shirts. Absolutely the bollocks. Um, go support them. Yeah, just want to give a shout out. I'm going to try and be a bit more organized for next time and shout out a few of the people that have been helping me out. Um, but yeah, cool. So that was a big rambly. Goodbye. Come back next time. Share. Tell your friends. Thanks for the support. I do not look like Christian Bell. I love you all. Goodbye.